Hey guys, my name is Sarah. I'm a healthcare traveler and I am making a big purchase next month that I am super stoked to share with you guys. Sorry it's been a while since I've posted a video. To say I've had a lot going on is an understatement. I actually just got back from Connecticut to visit some family and I also got to see my friend who's on an x-ray assignment at Dartmouth right now. We were only about two hours apart, so we totally spur of the moment made plans to see each other. And it felt so good to be reunited with one of my closest friends who's also a traveling radiology tech. I stayed the night with her in Vermont and then the next morning we went for a hike with her dog. I'm crying, it's so cold. My eyes are watering. <laughs> When we got back home from the hike, unfortunately her dog ran out into the road and got hit by a car. It was absolutely traumatizing, but we are so thankful that she survived. All she came out with miraculously was a forearm fracture. Even though the injuries were a lot less extensive than they could have been, the dog still had to have surgery. The bill racked up to over $10,000. So if any of you guys want to help Amy pay for her dog's surgeries, I'll put a GoFundMe link in the description below. We really appreciate just any good thoughts and healing vibes out to her dog. So that being said, the big purchase that I am making next month is an Airstream travel trailer. I am so freaking excited. Recently being on my own, living in California and moving from place to place has really put a perspective on not having one place that feels like home. And it's exhausting having to pack up every three months and fit everything I own in my car just to go from Airbnb to Airbnb and live out of a suitcase in between assignments. So why not have a home that I can pull behind me and be able to have all of my things with me, not have to pack up every three months and have a place to stay if I wanna take time off in between assignments. I'm also super excited that Rue is going to have a more stable environment. It's kind of stressful for her when we pick up and move to all these different places all the time. So I think even though the trailer itself moves, the interior is always gonna be the same and it's always gonna feel really homey to her and less stressful when we're moving around so much. Same for me too. Living in a tiny house has completely inspired me to live smaller. Honestly, this place is too big for me. It's kind of huge and I know that I could live in something much smaller. There's an Airstream dealer literally right down the street where I fell in love with a certain model. They go super quick, like it can come on the lot one day and be sold that same day. When you order a brand new Airstream, it takes them about eight months to build it. So I wasn't really interested in buying a new one because I knew it would take too long. And at the time I was ready to be doing this a few months from then, which is now. So I found a dealership in Oregon that had the exact travel trailer that I wanted for sale. And when I called them, they told me it had already been sold, but they had a different one that someone had ordered brand new that they decided they didn't want anymore. So they gave it to me for a really good deal. It was still in the build process, so I got to pick all of the interior colors and all of the upgrades that I wanted. The reason I decided to get an Airstream versus other travel trailers is because they are so well built and they have a great resale value. So if I decided that I only wanna do this for a few years, most likely I can sell it when I'm done and get almost all of my money back. If I decide that I don't want to sell it when I'm done, maybe one day I'll settle down and I'll build a little deck for it on my property and then I can rent it out as an Airbnb and still keep it as a travel trailer for weekend camping trips. I've purchased multiple courses through escapees and when I was on the plane back and forth to Connecticut, I did nothing but study because knowledge is power, right? Airstream has a blog, which is a great resource. YouTube has a plethora of videos, which are a great resource as well. I went to the Airstream dealer and I had them kind of investigate my car and tell me what kind of upgrades I need to make to it which really isn't too much. I thought I was going to have to get a 12 volt charge lead installed, but it turns out that I already have one. I already have the connections for the brake lights. All I have to get is a brake controller and an anti-sway 
weight distribution hitch, which I am still doing the research on. Haven't decided which one I want yet, so if you have any recommendations, please drop a comment and let me know. Originally, when I purchased my Jeep, I got it so it could tow a small travel trailer just in case it can tow 6,200 pounds, which is a bit more than a regular mid-size SUV can actually tow. So I'm very thankful that I did that and I prepared ahead of time because here I am buying a travel trailer. <laughs> it's actually happening. <laughs> I just got new tires on my car. I went with Toyo tires that are all-terrain and they're also great in snow and ice because I definitely plan on camping in snow someday. I have so many <laughs> lists of things to do and to buy. It's ridiculous, including all of the ideas I have for interior and exterior customizations, which will be other videos down the road. I'm trying super hard not to focus too much on that right now. I really just need to focus on driving up to Oregon, getting the trailer, and bringing it back here, and all of the supplies that I need in order to make that first trip. I know this is a huge undertaking for a solo female traveler, but I feel like what a huge confidence booster if I can pull this off, right? And especially sitting here talking to you guys, telling you my plans, now I'm going to be held accountable. All of my family and friends have been super supportive of my decision so far, and I would really appreciate any kind of support I can get. This is going to be a huge learning curve, and I've already accepted that. It's safe to say I am super excited about this new journey. I have so many ideas and plans. I could sit here and ramble on forever, but I will leave it right there, and I'll see you guys when I go pick up my Airstream. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along this journey with me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!